I was harvesting gears off this old apple peeler this morning, and I got to thinking. Where did all these wonderful bits of metal come from, and who first figured out how to make them? Gears are so important to the modern world. In fact, without them, we wouldn't have invented many of the precise, scientific, mechanical, and engineering machines that built the modern world. Gears are so much more than the rubber thing at the bottom of your blender. After thinking about this problem for a little bit, I started digging into some old books and journals to try and get an answer to my question. I know I'm not making a groundbreaking discovery here. Lots of people know about ancient history and mechanics, but anything to do with ancient history and mechanics is catnip for me. I found four primary source books that mention the development of the first types of gears between the 4th and 3rd century BC. In Western engineering tradition, all those roads lead directly to the inventor and engineer Archimedes. The main primary sources that speak about his gears are Cicero's The Republic, in which he famously describes a mechanical model of the solar system known as an ori. Quote, an invention of Archimedes, a globe on which were delineated the motions of the sun and the moon and of the five planets. This is critical. A planetary motion simulator requires gears to model epicycles, orbits, and rotations. Even if the gears aren't explicitly mentioned, the mechanical logic is undeniable. Gears would have had to have been used to keep the planets in sync with their orbits. The engineer Vitruvius also gives credit to Archimedes in the 1st century BC. Vitruvius describes Archimedes' screw used for lifting water, and alludes to Archimedes' other mechanical devices, including war machines and possible gearing systems. Quote, Archimedes also invented a screw for raising water. He is said to have devised many ingenious mechanical contrivances. While Vitruvius doesn't directly describe gears, he strongly implies Archimedes worked on mechanical transmission systems, and the screw device implies rotation and possible gear-like coupling. It's no secret that Archimedes' brain was so large, he probably had to invent a machine to carry it around with him. To try and find the very earliest mention of gear, you have to go before Archimedes to China, to an ancient philosophical text named Mozi. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. The Mozi text describes an ancient mobile crossbow platform, a kind of mechanical war cart. It had a bronze mechanism to control firing and a rotating adjustable aiming system. The cart fired large arrows that could be reeled back in, and it was operated by a team of 10 soldiers. It could shoot from defensive walls or towers and included protective screens against enemy fire. The entire setup was carefully measured and designed for efficiency and battlefield reuse. What makes this description from Mosey remarkable is its clear reference to mechanical gearing and windlass systems, which allowed for the drawing and reloading of the massive crossbow arms. This means the Chinese were using compound mechanical advantage, like cranks and possibly tooth mechanisms, well before Archimedes formalized such principles in Greece. This challenges the earlier traditional narrative that places the origin of mechanical gearing in the Hellenistic world.